What up, guys? It's me, Gaming Guy TV here. Um, and welcome to another video. Now, yes, I am back in Streamlabs OBS. Um, you can most likely tell because of the subscriber goal. And let me move that for a second to be like right there. I might have to end up moving that back at some point. But anyway, today we are back in Photoshop. Now, why am I in Streamlabs OBS? Because, um, let me explain something. When I open up an image, it pops up a UI that makes me select an image from my hard drive. Now, that is not a bad thing. That is actually a good thing, but I'm not sure if Windows will actually capture that. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to... I know I can record stuff like Photoshop that's not, you know, pixels are changing, but they're not, every single pixel is not changing every single second. So it's not going to put a ton of strain on my CPU. Um, but anyway, guys, this year's Photoshop challenge is a bit different than last year's. So for those who remember, last year's, or maybe it was the year before, I don't know if I did a Photoshop challenge last year, but last year... I'm going to say last year. Last year, it was create a Christmas scene. Let me show you what I have in store for this year. Okay, now we're so good in terms of positioning. So, I got us three characters. I got us Homer Simpson, Mickey Mouse, and Porky Pig. Now, these characters have nothing to do with Christmas at all. So, I figured, why not make them Christmassy? So, I'm going to go ahead and just do this now, because I forgot to do this earlier. For those who don't know what I'm doing, I'm putting a finished projects in. So, we are going to start with Homer Simpson. Now, in terms of... accessories yeah wrong thing in terms of accessories I got us a couple different kinds of Santa hats and I got us a Santa beard in case we wanted to use that now why didn't I get more Santa stuff or why didn't I get other stuff besides the Santa hats the reason I didn't get other stuff besides the Santa hats is um you can only wear so many things to make it Christmas. I'm not going to put like a giant red nose on Homer Simpson or Mickey Mouse. I'm going to try to edit the colors of their clothing and stuff like that to make them look a bit more Christmassy. I want to see something real quick. No, it doesn't. Okay. Hang on, guys. I should have done this beforehand, but hey, we're learning. Photoshop color picker UI. Sorry, 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 sorry. Like I said, should have done this beforehand. Um, but yeah, I have a bunch of these generic Photoshop elements in here for the reason of there are just so many windows that pop open. I want to see if I need a specific gradient one, too. No, that shows up for there. I need to move that a bit. Let me just do that. Alright, I think we are good. So, the first step is go into the Santa hat and remove the background. Now, yes, I realize that this is not going to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. So, one thing I'm noticing is that the Homer Simpson image is, much, is a much lower resolution than the Santa hat image.
So, we're going to have to scrunch that up a bit. Like there. So, first thing we want to do is apply the transformation. Next thing we want to do is deselect a layer. Let me unlock this. There we go. We've now given Homer Simpson a Christmas hat. Easy as that. And for the record, we are at 31 subscribers, not 32. It just doesn't update. Our goal is 50 subscribers. If we can get there by the end of 2020, that would be great. I wanted to be there by the end of 2019, but 2019 ends in nine days. So don't think we're going to make it. So the next thing I want to do is mess with Homer's shirt a bit. He's already wearing a red Christmas hat. So we're going to have him wear a green shirt. Now, I haven't actually tried this method before. Just to confirm, color replacement tool. So I'm going to go in, select the color, and now I'm just going to brush over it. I forgot a part here. So I'm now just going to brush over it like so. Now I want to see what happens if I do something like this. Okay, nothing. So now we're going to deselect and as you can see we've given his shirt sort of like that green tint. And that is exactly what we want out of this. We want that green tint. Now, that was a darker green. What we're going to do is we're going to set that to a lighter green and select all of the parts that need to be turned into a lighter green. And we're just going to generic brush tool it and lighter green. Now, I think that might be too much green so I'm going to okay now that is not enough well actually we want it to be darker this is working beautifully it it's lagging a little bit but what do we expect there we go now deselect and we've now changed the color of Homer Simpson's shirt. Now that is all we have to do with Homer Simpson for right now. I'm not going to change the color of his skin because A, that's just sort of creepy. So I'm going to save as real quick and I'm going to add a New window capture. Your screen is going to black out for a second. Photoshop save UI. Add source. Like I said, black out. But then we're back. So finished products Homer Simpson and I'm gonna put him as a PNG now I generally don't use PNGs I use JPEGs for my thumbnails because there's no transparency JPEGs do not have transparency to them so anything we want with if we want anything to have transparency we use a PNG. Anyway, okay guys, so that was Homer Simpson. Now the next character we have is Mickey Mouse. 
that's going to prove a bit of a challenge. Who? <coughs> think I might be, uh... Okay. So, this is going to provide a very, very different challenge than the last. The last challenge wasn't really a challenge. So, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna... Please tell me that works. Cool. Let's bring it over here. And as always, we have to shrink the size down to a reasonable fit. So we can now zoom back in. Oop, not that much. So I'm not going to worry about it cutting Mickey's ears off right now. In the end, we want it to go over the ears. So apply transformation. Now that looks actually, no, we don't want it to go over the ears. My, my bad. What we want is something like that. We can then just raise up a bit. Now, what we need to do is we need to take layer one and take the opacity down quite a bit. Now, we need to go back to the background layer. and trace the outline of where Mickey's ears are. Like so. Actually, no, that's not going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace this ear like so then we're going to go to layer one and control X now what that'll do is that will put Mickey's ears above it might look kinda weird actually yeah no what am I doing the hat is fine as is take the opacity back up Yeah, that's fine as is. It looks a tiny bit weird. So, what we're going to do is, now what we're going to do is, Mickey already has the red pants on. So we're going to change his shoes to be green. So we're just going to... See, I think there's a better way to good enough. So now we're gonna take the color replacement. Ooh, that's way too much. So that was a bit bright. So now we're gonna take it, tone it down a bit. Nice. You see, now Mickey is all ready for Christmas. See, this isn't much of a challenge, but at the same time, it's fun. Because you're placing a Santa hat on a character, and then you're sort of changing the colors on that character around. So, it's different, but yet similar. Oh, cancel. There's one more thing we have to do. So, if I do that, it gets rid of his hands which we do not want. So what we are going to do is we are going to merge layers. Now what that does is we had two layers and it now merged them all into one. It doesn't affect the look of the picture. This magnetic lasso tool is so great. I never used to use this and now I use it all the time. For those who don't know, I use Photoshop for my thumbnails. 
and Photoshop is a great tool for something like that because you can take something like a game screenshot get a clip out of it not clip but get a part of it so now what we're going to do is select inverse then control x and we've practically done the work of the magic eraser ourselves now there is still a tiny bit that needs to get erased like that and if i can do it that oh, and a tiny bit over here Yep. but now we've just christmasified mickey mouse ladies and gentlemen so we have one more character to go one singular character and that is Porky Pig so we are going to zoom zoom okay guys I hope you're enjoying this video I know it's not the normal challenge of a Photoshop challenge but okay so we can erase that so this is gonna be a fun one to place a Christmas hat on and I know exactly what I'm going to do for the colors I don't know why there's two of these Yeah, I'm thinking this one. Remove background again. Bring on to here. Shrink down to size. You want to link it at first and get it to a very small size. And then you want to stretch it so it fits, fit, <laughs> fits what you're trying to put it on. Now you want to hit apply and bam. Now he's already wearing a red hat and a red bow tie. I'm not going to try to change his skin color at all because well that doesn't exactly seem like a good idea to be honest. So now jacket ooh that is nice. Well, guys, that was significantly quicker than I expected. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to outro the video as I save this last... Um, this last image. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, happy holidays, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.